Hello my Nakamatachi, this is Joy Girl, and today I want to talk about pirates, or pirate crews more specifically. Being the entire premise of One Piece, pirates are a unique concept within shonen manga which allows Oda to create a diverse range of pirate crews, each with their own distinct themes and collective identities. And we're going to have fun with a good old top 10 video because I would like to share with you my top 10 pirate crews in this series. Before we dive into it, we should set some parameters to specify that 1. This is a list based on my personal enjoyment, so feel free to share your list in the the comment section. 2. We are looking at strictly pirate crews, so unfortunately organizations like Baroque Works, you're out. Now it's time for the top 10 pirate crews in One Piece. Starting at number 10, we got the Barter Club. Whilst there's only one true notable member being their captain Bartolomeo, I have to include the Bardo Club on this list because I love their theme. They epitomize what us One Piece fans feel about the series in their love for the Straw Hats, and love for the Straw Hats is something that resonates with me. They provide great wholesome comedy whenever they are in the scene with how much they adore the Straw Hats, devoting their entire living life to loving the crew, going as far as designing and naming their ship the Going Luffy Senpai in honor of the Straw Hats captain. The fact that they made it this far in the Grand Line with said ship is a hilariously impressive tale, since their relationship with their ship and the dangerous seas is one full of unsure mysteries, sailing without a navigator on board and instead relying on the old wives' tales of Gambia's granny. The Bato Club is a very relatable crew with their warm history having been childhood friends who agreed to embark on an unpredictable adventure just out of love for their captain's love of our lovable Straw Hats captain, which is why they take the 10th spot on this list. Coming in at number 9, we got the Kuja Pirates. The pirate crew of all female warriors is such a badass concept that I have to get behind. I love that everything about this crew screams strength on so many different levels. A strictly female crew consisting of the most elite warriors of their tribe is something that I haven't seen before in my experience of consuming shonen media. What I appreciate most is that the strength of the women doesn't take away from the beauty or the femininity of the crew. Led by the most beautiful woman in the world, Boa Hancock, who provides a nice twist on the Medusa legend with the original stone-turning snake-headed creature being a monster. Apart from having a cool ship design being pulled by two Yuda as a way to navigate the Sea King infested waters of the Calm Belt, I love that the Kuja Pirates had a role in establishing the Haki power system for us which is something that has now become necessary for survival in the new world. In these ways, the Kuja Pirates are a refreshing representation that strength and femininity are not antithetical which is why they land spot number 9 on my list. Making their entry at number 8 is Buggy's Delivery. Comprising the combined forces of the Buggy Pirates and Alveda Pirates, Buggy's Delivery includes two of the series' earliest antagonists, meaning this crew brings about a great sense of nostalgia and seeing them still be a part of the story reminds you just how far we've come on this pirate journey. My first intrigue into this concept of piracy started with the unique circus theme of the crew, which strayed away from the traditional concept of pirates that I was used to. Their evolution from a small-time comical enemy crew, to a simple pirate alliance, to a now elite pirate mercenary for hire organization with connections to the underworld is an astonishingly funny progression considering the equal amount of luck and bad luck that follows the captain. Buggy's pirate crew appears strong enough to survive in the new world and the idea that most of its members joined because of their mistaken perception of the captain's ability due to his association with well-known figures will always be one of the funniest gags in the series for me. Their captain's ability to gather powerful allies and Buggy's delivery's comically unique road to becoming a legendary crew earns them the number 8 spot on the list of top 10 pirate crews in One Piece. In number 7, we got the Blackbeard Pirates. Thinking of potential alone, this crew has the chance to eventually become the best villains and thereby my favorite antagonist crew by the end of the series. Seemingly being set up to be the Straw Hat's final antagonists, I feel enormously intrigued by Blackbeard and his crew. In terms of individual crew members, each of their distinguishable features promises an interestingly rich story. When I think of the Blackbeard pirates, there's a huge wave of questions that pops into my head. Why does Burgess wear a belt and what exactly is he a champion of? Why does Doc Q and Strong always seem bedridden. Progressive improvement is what I really love most about the Blackbeard Pirates. Every time we see this crew, they appear to have improved since the last time we saw them. Whilst being a powerful crew, perhaps the most intimidating part of the Blackbeard Pirates is the aura of sureness that surrounds them. This crew always feels like every single action they take is part of carrying out a bigger cohesive plan. Their raft to riches story and their parallel journey with the Straw Hat screams an eventual epic clash, but since we have a long way to go before their inevitable face-off, Marshall D. Teach's pirate fleet will have to settle for number 7. 
At entry number 6, we have the pirate crew who is currently in the spotlight at the time this video is recorded, the Beast Pirates. As a chaotic crew of powerful individuals who don't seem to have a common goal other than a mutual respect for their leader, Kaido's Amada for me is the embodiment of physical strength, which garners my instant respect and interest. The army full of strictly Zoe and Devil Fruit users in a meritocratic system provides not only a distinctive concept, but it says so much about Kaido's own power to unite this incohesive group of strong individuals. The high-ranking officers include the best collection of some of the most well-designed characters this series has seen, and even the lower-ranking Smile Devil Fruit users offer so many quirky and funny designs. In fact, if this list was strictly about who has the coolest looking crew design, the Beast Pirates would be closely competing for the top spot. And the developments by the end of the arc might benefit their future ranking because they haven't quite lived up to the high expectations that their placement within the story garners yet. So for now, Kaido's awe-inspiring Beast Pirates come in just outside the top 5 at number 6. Making our way into the top 5, in 5th place we've got the Big Mom Pirates. As a food lover myself, it's hard not to have a sweet spot for the Big Mom Pirates. <laughs> get it? But in all seriousness, this pirate crew family is one of the most visually and conceptually fun and enjoyable crews in my opinion. And whilst not all of the officers may have been given the time to live up to the hype, the crew does contain some of my favourite antagonists in Katakuri and Big Mom. Though the latter may be a very unpopular opinion, but for me, both these characters have so much depth, making them very interesting villains. I like the cohesiveness of the crew, ideologically as a family, which really represents all the conflicts and unhealthy dynamics that exist within a real family, such as the children's relationship to Big Mom, whilst also ultimately truly caring for each other. As well as conceptually, with the eerie Alice in Wonderland themed crew having each ministry being based off different foods. The Big Mom Pirates' vibrant concept, relatable family code, and spawning some of the most interesting looking characters makes them worthy of spot number 5 in the list of top 10 One Piece crews. At number 4, another crew who also has a family theme, the Whitebeard Pirates. This overwhelming crew, led by the strongest man in the world, is one of the only crews we got to witness the full extent of their glory, and oh my, how glorious it was. As if Whitebeard wasn't impressive enough, I was truly taken aback at Marineford, witnessing the abilities and individual strength of its members. This crew gave us not only fan favourites in Marco and Ace on top of Whitebeard, but also showed us the abilities of its other members like Josu, who was able to hold his own against the Marine Admiral, as well as Vista whose swordsmanship was even acknowledged by Mihawk. At the end of the day though, for all their strength and might, the Whitebeard Pirates are really just a sweet bunch of individuals who have become a true family. Witnessing the fleet taking on the entirety of the marines to save one of their brothers is something that they share with the straw hats and tugs on my heartstrings. The Whitebeard Pirates is a formidable crew who was able to even rival the Pirate King's former crew, but remains a heartwarmingly close-knit surrogate family who deeply care for each other, which is why they earned themselves number 4 on this list. At number 3 is the Redhead Pirates. Now this might be a controversial pick to have this over the Whitebeard Pirates. After all, we know more about Whitebeard's crew than Shanks, but the majority of the reason why the Redhead Pirates is this high on my list can be summarised in one word. Hype. Having been the very first pirate crew that we were introduced to in the series adds a sense of familiarity and nostalgia, but more importantly, the promise that we will not be disappointed when we see them again. In my opinion, the lack of screen time we've had for this crew works to their benefit as it only adds to the exciting anticipation. Whilst being captained by the youngest member of the Four Emperors, this crew gives off the feeling that each notable member is the best in their role. For example, when I think of the strongest Yonko commander, Ben Beckman would come to mind. Yasop is seen as the best sniper in the series. In contrast to all the others, this crew just always feels so strong and in control. And then on top of their legendary hype, they're also a fun and laid-back crew able to enjoy themselves whilst their close ties to our series protagonist strikes an instant familiarity for me, which is why they place at number 3. Now onto second place is none other than the crew of our former Pirate King, the Roger Pirates. As the only crew known to have made it to Laugh Tale and found the One Piece, this crew included some of the greatest legends introduced in the series, with potentially more to be revealed. And with two of these former members finding their way onto my list with their very own crews, it should be no surprise that I am immensely attracted to the late Pirate King's crew. I get so excited at the mere mention of the Roger Pirates and their adventure. With multiple members acting as guides to our protagonist, the footprints of the Roger Pirates are found everywhere in the series. 
One of the easiest ways to hype up a character is to have him be a former member of this legendary crew. Every glimpse that we get of this crew inspires so much excitement and intrigue. Despite now over 20 years and a thousand chapters in, we're still left with so much mystery which continues to stir compelling discussions such as the unexplained giant egg aboard their ship. The Roger Pirates monumental role in the series and the history attached to this crew will always be legendary, which is why they take the number 2 spot in my list of top 10 pirate crews in One Piece. Before I reveal my top 1 favourite pirate crew, I would like to give honourable mentions to the Kit Pirates and the Heart Pirates. Whilst both crews I am keen to find out more about, I can't quite include them as official entries into the top 10 because whilst being captained by the two of the most exciting characters in the series, outside of one other notable crew member for each of the respective crews, there is much to be desired about them as a unit. Here's to hoping that the current raid on Onigashima will provide some spotlight to the rest of the crews, but for now, this will have to do. Which finally brings us to number 1, the Straw Hat Pirates. If you've seen any of my other videos, there should be no surprises here. In case you're a new viewer, hey! The Straw Hats make up a huge chunk of the reason why I love One Piece. Being a part of this crew's journey brings me so much joy. The theme of friendship is so prevalent with this crew to the point that they feel like a family, which makes them a very endearing bunch to follow. Some of my most favourite non-fighting scenes involve the Straw Hats just simply hanging out. Being the main protagonists of this long-running series, these are the characters we've come to know and love. As the crew we've spent the most time with, my emotional attachment to the Straw Hats is like none other. I thoroughly enjoy witnessing the crew's journey every step of the way and share joy in their adventures, feel the pain in their trials, bask in their triumphs, and eternally root for their success. As a small but diverse crew, the members come from all walks of life but are united under their love and respect for their captain, which of course extends to each other. Witnessing their journey and development is a big reason why I watch the series, which is why they place at number 1 in my list of top 10 crews of One Piece. Please let me know your list of top 10 crews by leaving a comment below, don't forget to like and share the video, and please do subscribe for more One Piece content. Also join our Discord server for even more fun shenanigans, and thank you to our patrons who help the channel produce videos. This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.